Hello Tech Wizards and welcome back to video number four in our model rocket series. In this video we will be attaching our fins to the body tube of our model rocket. The materials we're going to need for this step are our body tube that has the motor block installed, we're going to need our fins, we're going to need our instruction sheet, We're also going to need one of our good sharp pencils, our super glue gel, our Elmer's glue all, our piece of aluminum angle, and a slip of paper that has a nice straight edge on it. Let's get started. First thing to decide is whether you want your rocket to have three fins, four fins, or five fins. We need at least three fins to keep our rocket stable as it's flying through the air. And obviously the more fins we add the more stable it's likely to be. A unique feature of the Estes Viking is that these are cardstock fins so there's no grain pattern like wooden fins. And what that means is we can attach these fins in several different configurations. On my rocket here I have them attached with the longest side attached to the body such as this. We can also attach them with one of the shorter sides to the body swept backwards. We can turn them over and attach them so the fins are swept upwards. We can attach, attach them this direction, this direction, this direction. If you look in your instruction sheet, Estes was nice enough to give us a couple different ideas for attaching our fins to our body tube. What this lets us do is make each of our rockets unique to, our, to us, so we each have our own customized rocket to fly. For this video I'll be attaching my fins to the body tube in this orientation similar to the example here. I'm also going to be using five fins on this rocket because I like a nice stable rocket that might fly a little bit slower. Remember the more fins we have, the more drag we have, and more drag makes our rocket fly a little bit slower and it's a little bit easier to follow through the sky. Let's go ahead and get attaching these fins. We're going to pull out our instruction sheet. Along the bottom of our instruction sheet there's a little diagram for three fins, four fins, or five fins. I'm going to be using the five fins. I'm going to take the end of my body tube that's labeled bottom I'm going to place it on the circle on the instruction sheet and everywhere there's an arrow, I'm going to, white arrow, I'm going to make a little mark with my pencil. This is going to be the marks that tell me where to place my fins on the body tube. There we go, five marks. There's also another small arrow, it's a color darkened in black arrow. I'm going to make a mark at that arrow also. That's going to be where our launch lug will go. All right. We'll get the instruction sheet out of the way. If you look, hopefully you can see on camera without it being too uh, bright there. But I have marks around the bottom of my body too. There we go. Now I'm going to take my aluminum angle my body tube sits nicely inside the aluminum angle and it gives me a nice straight edge to draw a line with. So everywhere I have a mark, I'm going to trace that mark all the way up the side of the body tube and create a line. Then I'll rotate it, make another line, and I'll place a line for every mark I have on the bottom of my body tube. These are going to be my guidelines for installing my fence.
Now I should have five straight lines going up my body tube plus one line for the launch lug. So one, two, three, four, five, plus one for my launch lug. I'm also at this point going to take my ruler and I'm going to make a little mark on one of these lines about a quarter inch up from the bottom. It's not doesn't have to be terribly accurate. We just want some space in there to use a little bit of tape to attach our motor when we put it into our body tube. Now how am I going to transfer this mark around to all the lines? That's where this slip of paper comes in. All I have to do is wrap this slip of paper around so that the edges line up and so that the bottom edge is on the mark on the body tube. Then I can transfer the line a quarter inch up all the way around onto all of my marks. All right. Now I've got all the guidelines I need in place. So let's attach our fins. There's a little bit of a trick to attaching these fins to our body tube. We're going to be using our Elmer's glue all and our super glue gel. The Elmer's glue all is going to be doing the brunt of the work and it's going to be holding the fins on the most. And our super glue gel is going to just help hold them on until the glue all can set up and dry all the way. So to attach our fins, we're going to take our fin, we're going to decide which edge is going to attach to the body tube. We're going to put just a little bit of glue on the edge of that fin. And we want to leave a little bit at either end to attach with our super glue. Now's the fun part. We get to take our finger and we get to smear that glue just over the edge. We don't want a whole lot, we just want a little bit. If you put too much glue on the edge of your fin, it's going to get soggy and it's going to end up falling off before it can set up. We'll grab one of our paper towels, wipe our fingers off so we don't have any extra glue on them, and then we'll apply just a little drop of super glue at either end of the fin. This is going to help our fin stay on until, until the Elmer's glue can set up. All right, now we'll pick our pick a line on our body tube. I'm going to start right here where I had it labeled bottom. I'm going to line the bottom edge up with that quarter inch line. And I'm going to slowly and gently lay it down along the line. I'll hold it there for a second or two, let the super glue grab. Now I'm going to sight down the end of our, my tube and I'm going to make sure that that fins on straight. In this case, it looks like it's on there pretty straight. The straighter we can get our fins on, the better our rocket's going to fly. Once that super glue takes a good hold and it seems like it's holding our fin on, we'll take our paper towel and we'll wipe off any excess glue that's along the side of the fin. And there we have it. We've attached the first fin to our body tube. In my case, I have four more to go. You might have two, you might have three, or you might have four, depending on how many fins you're putting on your rocket. We'll see you guys in the next video.